Over the years, flight simulations have come in all shapes and sizes from the basic Falcon 3.0 to the highly acclaimed Red Baron. If you've actually played Red Baron and wished for something with a little more graphic intensity, Wings of Glory could be the game for you. Origin has taken the basic engine from Strike Commander, tweaked it considerably, and thrown in some classic planes from the Great War. This means that you'll have rolling hills, lush three-dimensional clouds, and if your computer has enough processing power, scattered trees here and there. The creative team on Wings of Glory has gone to painstaking lengths to put in the most graphic detail ever seen in a flight sim. Each plane has been rendered in 3D studio with intricate decals painted on in brilliant color. To add realism to Wings of Glory, Origin has added hotspots to their three-dimensional wire meshes. When one of these hotspots is hit, the character controlling the plane will actually lose control of that section, whether it's the ailerons, the rudders, or even the pilot himself. To add realism, Origin has included some incredible sound effects. This includes creaking of the plane's wooden frame and the wind rustling through the wings when one is gliding with the engine off. In Red Baron, you are strictly limited to air-to-air -air combat. In Wings of Glory, you'll be able to fly bombing missions, and some planes in the latter half of the game will even have rockets. Origin has obviously done their homework on this one. The overall variety of planes in Wings of Glory will be good. Although you will actually only be able to fly five planes, there will be over 20 planes or objects on the sky or ground to shoot at. Tying the missions together is the Wing Commander-style cinematic storyline that Origin is famous for. For those who finish the campaign or just plain want to blast things out of the sky, there is a gauntlet mode in which the player starts out in a single dogfight and then continues to rapidly work his way up the difficulty scale. In the gauntlet, planes come toward you in waves, which increase with difficulty the longer you survive. The realism settings are cranked down in this mode to give a more arcadish feeling. The other two parts of the game are the Mission Recorder and the Mission Builder. The Mission Builder offers infinite possibilities when it comes to mission types, and the Recorder lets you look at your last mission with the options to save it or even jump into the game at a certain point a la Red Baron. One thing that Red Baron was missing was a multiplayer option. For some reason, some rumors started to circulate about Wings of Glory being network and modem playable with a possibility of two people on one computer questionable, but when asked, Origin would not comment on whether or not these rumors were true. I'd have to say that it's a pretty good assumption that everyone would like to see Wings of Glory come out as a multiplayer game, but that's just my opinion. Based on the quality of the version of the game I saw, Wings of Glory could easily become the top dog in the World War I flight sim category. If the rumor concerning multiplayer options turns out to be true, I'd bet on it.